Michael Reeves hasn't uploaded a video in eight months. So I decided to make one of his shitty, I mean amazing, robots. And this is how it turned out. So first I need to find a robot to build. I think I know just the place. See, all of Michael Reeves' best ideas come from the same creative, unique, and just really inspiring place. His comment section. So I'm going to look through some of the comments of his videos and see if I can find any real nuggets of wisdom in there. Okay, I think I found something. Have a look at this. Oh, wait. Wait, what? How'd that get in there? A scooter. But when you pick it up, it swings full force into your ankle. This idea is shit. So my plan for this great, great idea is to get a scooter and cutter at the base. Then we can attach a motor in between the handle and the base, allowing the base to spin around. The speed and direction of this motor can be controlled by an Arduino, which we can stick on the side. And at some point we'll have to figure out how to detect when someone picks up the scooter, but that's a problem for later me. Anyway, this should be simple. For this project, I knew I would have to be working with metal. So I went out and bought a welder. And at first, I didn't really know how to use it. But after some good old trial and error, I figured it out. Okay, I've just finished taking the scooter apart and now I just need to find the motor that will sit in between these two pieces here. And I was looking through these screwdrivers when I found just the thing. This old motorized screwdriver. So I took the motor out of it and it fit suspiciously well on this little drill bit I welded on top of the scooter earlier. Anyway, I thought I would test it out just to see if it works properly. Okay, this thing works scarily well. It's sort of hard to explain how scary it is to have this massive chunk of metal swinging at full speed into your ankles. But I had a problem. So when I was building this, I had to weld the front wheel straight. Uh, and that's because the axle means that that connects the front wheel to the handlebars and all the base can spin around. But because we want the... Okay, that was a really bad explanation. Basically, what I was trying to say was I had to weld the handlebars to the rest of the scooter so it couldn't steer. And that's because otherwise the front wheel would spin whilst the rest of the motor stays still. Anyway, back to the video. So now what we have to do is figure out when someone picks up the scooter and then turn the motor on, just like this. See, easy as that. Except it wasn't as easy as that. It actually took me two whole weeks to make this thing. And that's because, well, I'm done. You see, I used an Arduino and a motor driver to tell the motor when to move, and it worked really, really well until... That's not good. Yeah, I fried the Arduino and it didn't work anymore. But luckily, I had a spare Arduino and I knew what made the old one explode. So I just fixed the problem up and... Hopefully, this doesn't blow up. It didn't work. Yeah, I fried the second one as well. But then I realized we had way overcomplicated this whole thing. We don't care which way the motor spins or how fast it goes. All that matters is that it spins when it gets picked up. So, with a bit of magic, I got it to work. And this, this is what we ended up with. This work of art, this feat of engineering is the peak of my career, my opus magnum, my 50,000 IQ Among Us play. And I'm going to show you how it works. Now be warned, this might be the most complicated and smartest thing you'll ever hear, so pay attention. When the wires touch, the drill turns on. And when the wires aren't touching, the drill, wait for it, the drill doesn't turn on. Yeah, it's dumb as shit. But, but, it took me longer than I want to admit to build, so I'm going to quickly explain to you how I built it. First, I got this smaller rod of metal that could fit inside of the handle and stuck it in the back of the drill. 
Then I cut a chunk out of the handle so this nail could fit in that hole. Now I could slide the handle up and down a little in both directions. Then all I had to do was make a break in the wire and attach one side to the nail and the other side to the handle, so that when the handle is resting, nothing happens. But when you pull the handle up, the wires come into contact, turning the drill on. And in the end, I didn't even need to use any Arduinos or external circuitry, because it was all hardwired. Anyway, I've never tested the whole thing together until now. Well, there's only one thing left to do. So the handle popped out of the back of the drill, and it's not that surprising because I only glued it in place before. So this time I'm going to try and use some stronger epoxy glue and put a bolt through the drill casing and the rod of metal that connects the handle to the rest of the scooter. And at this point I'm just talking to try and fill the rest of the montage I made. So um, I don't know, I guess you could take this time to go check out that big red button down below. Or don't, I don't know, it's up to you. Okay, that worked really well. And it's so nice when something works first try without it breaking, and you don't have to redo half of the project after testing it countless times without it working because you decided to make this stupid thing that doesn't even resemble a robot that Michael Reeves would make, but you've already sunk so much time into it. <coughs> Sorry, what was I saying? Oh yeah. All right, let's try and find some people to test this on now. You wanna, you wanna ride my scooter, buddy? It's a, it's just a scooter. Just. Right, just right. If you just, you just. Oh, that actually hurt. hurt. Ah! <laughs> and while it didn't work perfectly every time, when it did work, it worked well. But my friends were too scared to let it hit them after it built up too much speed. So I did the only logical thing anyone would do. I did it to myself. And I don't really know what this shows, other than that it hurts. A lot. Anyway, I've enjoyed working on this project, and I've learned a couple of things. But I'll be making some more similar videos in the future, so subscribe if you like this one.